I've brought them to the academia as ordered, but it took some time and trouble. Okay, tell me a traitor. Oh, that reminds me. Here's the investigation report you had requested. It's a summary of my time spent with the Traveler, an array of information about him ready for your perusal. Okay, you become my most hated characters from all this. You traitor. You better have a good reason for this. I don't know why, but I'm real rage over this. I hate them. So you you're still on the academia side. We finally started to trust you. Hmm. Excellent. Detailed contents with no errors. I would expect nothing less than an immaculate report from the scribe. As it is near Garbaha Day, I'll enter the information on you into the Akasha. Surely you know what that means. We'll be monitored, just like Sino. With the Akasha's calculation prowess, all of your actions will be predicted with an accuracy of at least 98%. Furthermore, your data will be updated in real time whenever new information presents itself. To put it into words you can understand, wherever you go, you will be walking under an invisible leash. This is Sumeru's greatest penalty for dishonest persons. Are you not familiar with the concept that great responsibility begets an equally great suspicion? In any case, you are Sumeru's most concerning external variable. Locking you down will greatly decrease the chance of any undesirable outcomes coming to pass. You're despicable! Despicable? Hmm. Perhaps from your perspective, but... I suppose you had mentally prepared yourselves for this, no? Your ploy was to sacrifice the Traveler here, was it not? Say what? Uh... Lord Azar, I know what you're trying to say, but I've been following your plan this entire time. Why are you doubting me at this juncture? <laughs> Must I delineate your entire plan? Very well. I will spell things out. First off, I received an eyewitness report that you were spotted with the Traveler at Caravan Rebat. However, you immediately departed for the desert and escaped surveillance range. Judging by the time, you all likely encountered the truant General Mahamatra in the desert. Am I correct? <sighs> Maybe Paimon shouldn't have mentioned Sino just now. The Academia had not received correspondence from its scribe for a prolonged time. You were also in the company of the Traveler, a close associate of Lesser Lord Kusanali and General Mahamatra Sino, who had defected from the Academia. With their instigation, what was the probability that you would betray the Academia? Rationally speaking, 50%? 70%? What do you think? Regardless, that's only a guess. The facts are that I've brought the Traveler right before you, and I gave you my report. Indeed, your boldness deserves praise. To think that despite status as an outlander, the Traveler is still willing to sacrifice for the sake of your plan. If I'm correct, you have a contingency plan to save Lesser Lord Kusanali and ruin our great work. Again, this nation's just plain seven layer of sa So, okay, so I have him didn't betray us. Kinda. Actually, she... Oh my god, my head, my head hurts. So, he's gonna sacrifice us. And, you know, I don't know if we to hate him or hate him more. Sneak into the Academia on Nia Garbaha Day, using Alhatham's status as the scribe. For there is a good chance that an opportunity to save the Lesser Lord will arise. 
Should your intentions be discovered, Alhatham will turn traitor and sacrifice the Traveler, thus proving his innocence. He can then stay inside the Academia and continue searching for a way to proceed forward. As for Sino, according to the Akasha's calculations, he will soon return to the Academia and confront me in person. I suppose this is also a part of your plan? <laughs> You'll see me as a traitor regardless of what I say, no? Even if you impugn me, it would have little effect on you all. You misunderstand. Losing our scribe would irreparably damage the Academia's regular operations and the development of Sumeru's future academic systems. However, under the current circumstances, even that is trivial compared to what we stand to gain from our great work. You said that I betrayed the Academia, but you, Azar, you've betrayed all of Sumeru, betrayed its Archon. Hmm. So flight is turned to fight at long last. Guards! Well, what do we have here? So you stole that divine knowledge capsule. Traitor! You traitor! <laughs> Even the most rational scholar will yearn for the power of a god in a moment of desperation. Aren't you doing the exact same thing as me, Althatham? <laughs> Unfortunately for you, no god will lend you their power. He has gone completely insane. Oh my! Take him to the Matra, and exile him to Aru village. Then, find someone to take these two to the confinement room. I'll deal with them later. Grand Sage, we've finished all required preparations for Nyagarbaha Day. We may begin to enter the capsules now. Excellent. You may begin. <laughs> what are you planning? Wait, don't tell me Nilo is gonna... Okay, I need to retain this. Oh, but I kinda hate one aspect. Don't tell me Neil's gonna be part of this mission. Okay, I bet okay, I bet that Al Hism put some kind of one of those things in the table and they're not gonna su suspect the thing about that he switch or put something there to create some kind of distraction. But oh no, now I remember the thriller. Nero, for some reason, is gonna debate with them? You cannot reason with these people. Man, I don't know what to say. Ah! Uh, can you shut up for a moment? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Paimon got a bit carried away there. How is Paimon acting just now? Great, huh? Are you kidding me? This is part of the plan. Okay, you're really gonna start to hate this story for some reason. I hope this is gonna deliver it well. But no more plot twists, please, because I'm already hurting. 
So this was planned to actually be captured. Okay, I think we... This is more the Dex Ex Machina than ever before. <laughs> Everything's going according to plan so far. We made it into confinement, and all Haytham's probably done with his part too. We even managed to trick Grand Sage Azar. All Haytham sure knows how to cook up a plan. What are we doing next? Paimon has trouble remembering things when she's worked up. <laughs> yeah, please, let's look all the strategy. Right, right. Paimon thinks it went something like this. Apart from that, we still have yet another goal in the first stage of our operation, which is to send the Traveler to the confinement room. He's always been the person the sages are most afraid of, as well as the greatest obstacle to their successful implementation of their plan. They are very aware of the risk he poses to them. Once the Traveler is imprisoned, the sages will likely think that everything is under control. And with their guard down, the next phase of our plan will have a much higher chance of success. <laughs> I can already see the pompous looks on their faces. It's a super tricky plan, but Paimon still thinks it's not really worth it. That isn't the only reason, of course. He has a more important task once he's in confinement. According to the Academia scholars in Rahman's custody, Lesser Lord Kusanali has sealed off her consciousness in the Akasha ever since she was captured by the Doctor. That way, they can't pry any more information from her. Even if we break into the Sanctuary of Suristhana, it will take time to awaken Lesser Lord Kusanali's consciousness. We need to do that in advance. So our job is to wake up Nahida! Okay, totally worth getting thrown and jailed for! The confinement room is inside the Academia, close to the Sanctuary of Suristhana. It's a completely enclosed space, and you won't be receiving any visitors. I'll work with Rahman scholars to make some modifications to your Akasha terminal. Once you're in, get as close as you can to Lesser Lord Kusanali and try to connect to her consciousness. However, as for whether she'll actually wake up, that will depend on our luck. Oh, no wonder you've been wearing your Akasha terminal today. It's the one that all Haytham modified. Wait, we actually wear this? I have to look at the recording if we actually wear this on unintentionally. Paimon well, thought they'd take our Akasha terminals when they'd locked us up in here. Hmm, were they being careless? All right, so what now? Sounds easy enough. We can finally talk with Nahida after all this time. Let's do it. Let's do it. I don't know why, but that sounds like Papa Tin trying to be There's a light cute. flashing on your Akasha terminal. It's almost like <gasps> the faster it blinks, the better the signal. Is this the right spot? Are you getting anything? Ah, please work! Phew, for a moment I thought she's gonna be the bad idea.
Nagira. Now you talk. I just want to call. Hey, Nagira. Hey, now you talking. Again, why is the plot problem with them? Because this become comical now. This clearly important scene. I can get it for other stuff, but this is an important moment. Let the travel attack, for God's sake. When did it first start? Oh, right. It started from the moment I was born. Wait, did this home help you? I want to become a worthy Archon. So I've kept studying. Kept listening to my people and their hearts. Kept looking for a way to save Ermin Soul. So I can catch up. Catch up to Greater Lord Rukatavata. But I'm stuck in the sanctuary of Sarasthana. The sages are creating a god to replace me. And I'm forced to lock my consciousness in this boundless darkness. Nahida! Really? You you didn't see this scene now? Again, CG can actually help a lot this game. You know the all the black skin that has. Imagine if you actually use this CG scene and not every blue moon. And again, the whole travel stick. Again, the story so far kind of good, but again, the problem that the game has just peel up, just you know. Built up with them. Nahida! How many times I bet you he's gonna he got paid just to say this? It's so quiet here. Now that I think of it, I don't think I ever actually listened to my own inner voice. Do Archons have them? Should Archons have them? Have I been doing the right thing? Am I really not needed? Since you're the god of wisdom... Who say that? You've known the answers to all these questions since the very beginning, haven't you? Who are you? Whose voice is that? It sounds familiar.
You're right, though. I won't... I won't ignore my own voice anymore. Nahida! Nahida? Did you... wake me up? <sighs> Thank you. Why are you here? We're here to rescue you. Are you alright? Are you kidding me? He actually says another line. How of us? You're a billion dollar company. I don't want to hear any excuse now. Make the travel actually speak, at least for the important moment. At least for that. I'm fine. It's just... When I think of everything that's happened to me, I feel really angry now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nahida. I think I have the perfect panty bag you can verse your race to. And his name is the Baladir. You should have been angry ages ago. That's wonderful news! Great! We weren't locked up for nothing! When you went to wake up Nahida, Paimon was listening for any sounds outside. You were out for a long time. There are fewer and fewer scholars going about now. You think everyone's done with their Nyo Garbaha day stuff? Yep, so that means our next act is Nilo's performance! Really, Nilo? What's he's gonna do, dance? <laughs> 